you shout at your mother and then walk away with anger you scold your child for something petty and feel frustrated you argue with your spouse or partner and say something nasty each time that you become angry you end up saying or doing something that is negative later you regret having spoken the harsh words or the violent action that you might have taken but each time you get angry and say or do something that hurts someone it is like hammering a nail into a wooden wall even if you apologize later and take out the nail from the wooden wall the hole that the nail made in the wall remains this is what anger does to us but what causes anger what if we could understand the root cause and solve the problem is it possible yes it is possible to manage anger let us analyze the root causes first root cause ego an inflated ego when a person has a big ego it is easy to make that person angry visualize this you are one human on this planet the earth is one of the planets in our solar system our solar system is part of one universe our universe is part of the multiverse just one of many universes now ask yourself who are you how big are you in the larger scheme of things one human has no significance in the universe itself forget the multiverse why this self importance and big ego then remember your self respect can never be taken away from you by anyone you are your own master as long as you understand this you can keep your thoughts simple and keep your feet on the ground and you will be able to manage your anger better an inflated ego is the biggest enemy of a human the ability to control one's ego is perhaps the most effective way to control most of the emotions that lead to angry outbursts you are important in your own world you may not be so in someone else's world that is absolutely all right accept that and live your life the way you want without thinking about what others might think or say second root cause stress immense stress when you are stressed anger enters easily through the door people can cause stress the environment can cause stress failure can cause stress situations can cause stress in reality none of these is true stress is caused by your reaction to people the environment failure and situations your reaction happens in your mind here is a practical way to deal with stress don't react instead you need to respond when people say something negative to you and you become stressed it is your mind reacting to them response means you take a couple of seconds to think and analyze before you say or do anything recently my son said he was being bullied on his school bus there were a couple of older students who were calling him names i asked him a question if someone calls you a donkey does that make you a donkey he said no that is when i explained to him that when people bully they say nasty things but it does not change you except for the fact that it makes you angry so instead of that just breathe and keep calm smile and tell yourself that what they are saying does in no way change things about you the bullying stopped after a few days because he started responding instead of reacting if you take those few seconds to think and analyze and then respond instead of reacting you will be able to control your stress i will give you another example this is about failure when you face a situation of failure and you react by thinking that you are a failure just relax and think about your life till now 
There have been many failures and successes. Ups and downs are part of life. When you look back at your life, it is like watching a movie and no matter what happened, you came out of it. You will come out of it again only if you focus on what action you need to take next instead of worrying about failure. Third root cause, drowned in negative thoughts. Oh yes, this is a big one. When you are drowned in negative thoughts, it is easy to trigger anger in you. This is quite common, so nothing to worry about here. I'd keep talking about this quite often. Have solution-oriented thoughts and not problem-oriented ones. Negative thoughts mostly arise because we spend too much time on the problem. It leads to self-criticism and destructive thoughts. When we move out of self-doubt and understand that everyone goes through tough times of their own and we think of solutions to the problem, we move out of negative thoughts and enter the realm of positive thinking. Taking care of these three root causes will help you to reduce the tension in your mind and the anger that ensues as a result of it. The next time you feel angry, make a conscious effort to breathe, relax, count backwards in your mind from 10 to 1 and respond calmly instead of reacting angrily. Each time you make this effort, you will reduce the chances of hammering the nail into the wooden wall. Have a great day, my friend.